Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today, we're finally gonna have that talk about weight loss. I've had so many questions about this and I thought, you know, why not just sit down, do my makeup and we'll talk about it. Now, I'm gonna have a dedicated why I eat in the day videos because there's so many things I wanna share with you with regards to food because I struggle with that so much. It says a bar of chocolate, like, you know, the one pound big part bars of Galaxy. Like, I can't just have like a little bit of it. I eat the whole thing in one go and I can finish a whole pack of Krispy Kremes in one go. I eat so much sugar as uh, so i'm a, definitely a big sweet tooth and yeah so food was the biggest thing for me in terms of just controlling my portions and what i eat as well we'll talk about it but i want to do dedicated white in eat in a day videos which i will do later on because i work it's hard to like vlog it and document it before we jump into the video i'm going to do a post notification shout out because i haven't done any in a while and that's just annoying because i should be consistent you know Today's one's gonna go to Moira and Bagan. Thank you so much for watching my previous video. And I just wanna say thank you to all of you for all the love that you gave on my last video, which I called um, Just Keeping It Real With You. You guys love the push I gave and also like shared it on your Instagram stories, which was really cool. And it just made me wanna like, um, just be more motivational in my videos and really push you guys to be your best uh, anything you're doing at the moment and just keep pushing forward and striving for success and I just want to be here for you guys and be your like motivation not be your motivation but be that push that you need because I need it for myself and if I can help people as well whilst <laughs> doing it for myself I think you know that's just amazing so yeah shall we jump into it guys I think we should I'm losing hair here, it's so annoying. My back already hurts. Keep your back straight. Keep your back straight. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't feel my best at the moment. I'm so proud of all the weight I've lost, but like I'm slowly slipping I'm slowly slipping into my bad eating again. And I'm really trying to fight it. I think when you wanna like when you wanna lose weight and be healthier, it's a whole lifestyle change and I can't go back to the way I was before. I've eaten eating like crazy amount of sugar a day not drinking any water although i've been good on my water intake it's just the eating like the sugar eating i have a bad habit of always wanting something sugary after a meal which i don't need so for this video i'm just going to keep it super real with you guys and it's actually going to be really helpful for me um and you know it's it's hard when people ask me like what did you do how did you do it what's your secret i don't have a secret there's no secret to weight loss. You just have to put the hard work in and it's not easy. And like I said, it's a whole lifestyle change. So the first thing is, the most important is healthy eating. You're gonna have to change your eating habits. And I know it's not what you wanna hear, but you're gonna have to make some sort of change. And I'm not saying to cut out completely sugar, okay? Because I really don't believe in all these diets of just eating salad and everything like they're very efficient if you want to lose a lot of weight by a certain time let's say you've got this boxing match to go to and you know you need to win the, the match then yes you can do this camp thing where you eat really really you really control what you're eating and keep it as minimal as possible and really work out and you will lose a lot of weight in a short amount of time but it's not a long term feasible in the longer term you're not going to be able to in my opinion continue this strict 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 diet what for like i always go by this it's like if you can't eat what you want what is the point food is life okay i love food in my opinion you don't need to um cut out every single thing that you love you don't you can eat whatever you want but in moderation in moderation moderation <laughs> um sometimes i have to like really like get that those words in my head and that means no more eating a whole bag of donuts no more eating a whole pack of galaxy chocolate no more eating a thousand calories worth of pasta in one go it's definitely doable and with time you would you will see that it doesn't become like effort it just flows it will just be in the beginning where you'll be like, oh my god, this is so hard. I want to eat so much sugar. 
it's kind of like addictive putting some brow gel i'll list all the brow products i've used by the way when i was really losing a lot of weight and i could see like my weight going down was when i was really avoiding any sugar whatsoever in a day and i would only keep my sugar intake like treats that you could say till the weekend so in the day when i in in the week when i was at work i would just eat chicken salad or or just controlled eating i would go to prayer and i would just count my calories so counting your calories will really really help when it comes to healthy eating um that's what really helped me and i would try to stay under a thousand 1200 i think a daily recommended intake for women is 1500 to 2000 if i'm not mistaken but i would try to stay under a thousand and that would do enough for me for some people it might not but for me it was fine um and please 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 just remember this is a disclaimer i am not no professional nutritionist or anything like that i'm not a personal trainer so i most of the, most of the time i don't know what i'm doing but i try to do my research another thing that really really helped me was intermittent fasting so i would not eat in the morning for breakfast until like 12 30 to 1 ish and then i would eat um like a snack throughout the day like fruit or something um, and then I would eat for the evening. So I would eat a lot of soup or just chicken and salad. Just just simple stuff. And I would always make sure that I was under a thousand. So that's when I was really losing a lot of weight. Now I haven't been serious since I came back from holiday because I've just not really gone back into my daily daily workouts seriously enough like I was before I went on holiday so yeah consistency is key as well in all of this I'm actually going to use my modern renaissance palette for this for today's video I'm taking the shade real gar and this is going to go all over my lid I just want to do a simple smoky eye but like an orangey warmish brick shade so now I'm taking raw sienna just to help me buff the edges out So yeah, definitely count your calories. That's a really good tip to really control your eating. Just stick to a limit and make sure you stay under it. And that really helps me. And I'm going to start going back into it. I've stopped. But it's really helpful. And after a while, you don't really feel like you're holding yourself back. So it's just with time. In the beginning, it will be hard. But just stick to it and it will be helpful. Well, it helps me. And people find their own ways that help them lose weight. This is just what worked for me and I'm sharing it with you guys. I also do recommend getting some sort of Fitbit because that really helped me count my steps. I would do above 10,000 a day. I've broken mine. I don't know if I want to get another one to be honest, but looking at how many steps I did was helpful. But nowadays I feel like with the workouts I do, I do get the steps in. So I don't really need to. I just want to get a normal watch to be honest. But if you're starting out i think a fitbit is really helpful i've been loving this toner by ol henriksen it's their dark spot toner and it smells absolutely amazing and now when it comes to high-end skincare ol henriksen is what i would definitely recommend purchasing it's so nice i'm next gonna pop some of this estee lauder advanced night repair intense reset concentrate again another product that i've been loving and again, I usually put this at night time. I think it is a night. Yeah, it's a night thing. <laughs> I wanted to share it with you guys because I really do like it. Next up, I'm going to be using some of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This was kindly given to me by Mia Loves Beauty. She had like a bunch of like uh, deluxe samples. These like lasted me for months. Um, the moisturizer is nice, but I wouldn't splurge on it. It's not something that wowed me, but I'm just finishing it right now. Next, I'm using the old Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. And I actually put this under my eyes. And again, it smells amazing. Old Henriksen is definitely my favourite skincare and I just want to buy the whole set. They're so, so good. I'm actually going to be mixing this, these two together. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation and the... Um, bourgeois healthy mix which is a bit darker for me the bourgeois one is in the shade 85 and the vanish the hourglass one is in the shade honey which is a little bit too light for me at the moment i'm just gonna put a bunch on here i put two pumps of the hourglass one and one pop of the bourgeois 
So I'm just, I've just mixed the two and applying it. That's a nice shade for me. And I'm just going to use my beauty blender. I'm going to buff that all out. Then for concealer, I'm going to grab my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade Toffee. Please, if you want to look into intermittent fasting, definitely research into it. I think that's what I'm doing at the moment. Now I'm taking some of my Kat Von D Loose Setting Powder. I'm just going to push that into the concealer. Then I'm going to use this Roxy palette by Makeup Revolution. This is the face palette. And I'm going to grab this shade right here. Just to give some shadow. Can you see a difference? Just keep a light hand. Go in a natural dent in your face. Not that I really have one because my face is still quite round. <laughs> I'm using some of my Blush and Pretty in Peach by EX1 Cosmetics. I put maybe a little bit too much so I'm blending it out with my powder brush. The next tip I can give you, and it's just straight and easy, is working out. Get Getting that exercise in, whether that's a 15 minute jog every day to a YouTube video workout once a day. You need to get the workout in and burn more than you are taking, burn more calories than you're taking in. That was my my mindset. If I'm gonna eat this much, I need to burn more than that. And you really have to keep that in your mind. And yeah, so every day after work, I'll follow a YouTube video. Um, there's one I definitely recommend. It's so, so hard. To, to this day, I still can't get through it all in one go because it's so intense. But I'm definitely getting better. I literally get to 10 minutes before the end and I'm like, I'm out of it and I just can't continue. I'm in so much pain. Um, but yeah, I'll link in the info box and some other like workout videos that I follow when I get home. So what I will do is I have a treadmill. So I will do like 10 to 30 minutes, like, like a fast jog, not running. I can't, I can't do the running, okay? Or I will do like three minutes walk, two minute jog, one minute sprint and I just keep doing that till it gets to 30 minutes. That's really helpful to getting your heart rate up and down. And I feel like you burn more fat when you do that. So yeah, I'll get 10 to 30 minutes running in and then I'll do like a, depending on how I'm feeling on the day, if I'm tired or not, I'll do like a 20 minute workout or like a 10 minute ab workout, a 20 minute leg workout just to make sure that I'm working all sort, all parts of my body. At the moment, my goal is to be able to do push-ups correctly and properly and do as many as I can, and I'm still in that process of doing it. But yeah, just set yourself some goals. If it's your legs that you really wanna work out, so do maybe like a 15 to 30 minute cardio workout and then do a 20 minute YouTube video following a leg workout, which will help to tone your legs and your booty, you know? Or if it's your arms, do the same thing but do instead of a leg workout do your arms for me it was really burning fat and really toning up as well um and i still got quite a lot of fat on me so i want to lose that even though it doesn't look like it but i do i do have it and lately i've been eating like crazy so i need to follow my own advice that i'm giving here so yeah it's not easy and it's not going to be easy when you first start because it's going to be painful as hell but you need to get through it. You need to continue, you need to stick to it. And I know it's not easy, I know, but this comes onto my third and I think my final rule or point I would give and is determination. If you want something, you would do what it takes to get it and get it done. So for me, yesterday someone was asking me like, you, we know that we need to eat healthy, we know that you need to do exercise, but how do you get your mind to like push you to do that? And I found myself in a situation where I actually didn't know how to answer that question because when I think about it, I don't know what made me do it. Now, my husband is like a person that really pushes me and motivates me because he's like on his um, healthy fitness journey as well and he does amazing at it. And so I'm lucky to have someone to push me and motivate me. But 
that's not what also that's not all you need you need to really get that determination in there and self-discipline it's not easy but once you get that determination in you and you are determined to lose your weight by a certain time and i think that was for me because i was going on holiday so i wanted to lose a certain amount of weight before i go on holiday then that's it i was nothing could stop me and i think it's important to set yourself goals and do we really set ourselves goals like actually write it down maybe go onto your phone go into your notepad and write a goal for yourself and if that if losing weight is for you give you like give yourself something to work towards to so by march next year i want to lose 5 kg and make them realistic goals as well <laughs> don't go overboard but yeah i think setting yourself a goal will really help that process in getting your determination in track or in even on a on a um, sticky note stick it on your mirror that you look in every day before going to work or going to uni stick it on there and it will just remind you of that goal that you've set yourself and it will really push you determination once you're determined at doing something and it's stuck in there in your mind nothing can stop you and like when i'm on the treadmill and i'm almost gonna freaking pass out or puke I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna give up and like, and you know, when I do that, that's not like an hour sprinting, that's like 15 minute jogging, uh, I don't know, one mile per hour. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I can do this. I don't wanna, and then I think about like how unhappy I was before. That really pushes me when I really wanna give up on that treadmill. I think about how unhappy I was when I was overweight, how I did not fit in anything and it just made me feel so miserable. And when you think about that, it really does help. Well, personally, it helps me. So, um, I think, yeah, that's, that's what I can say, guys. Um, I hope I made sense. I forgot to do my makeup, I'm just chatting away. I'm gonna take the highlight in this face palette here. It's so gorgeous. Some weird ass people in my area, like screaming. All right, now we're gonna go back onto the eyes. I have this NARS uh, High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Broadway. It's like a nice reddish shade. I think it goes well with this eye look. I'm also gonna take that same Real Gar shade and put that underneath my lash line. So yeah, as I was saying, the three main points are healthy eating, exercising and determination. I feel so much better in my body than I was like a few years ago. And you have to remember my weight loss journey was over a couple of years. It wasn't like a six month thing. It's possible, but it's not, it's not durable in the longer term. Like I don't see myself keeping a strict, strict diet for like years, unless like you're a professional athlete, athlete or something. For me, I need to live, so I want to eat the foods I want to eat, but also be in good shape. And as soon as I eat like unhealthy like that, I'm gonna gain kilos. It's just my the way my body is, and I put on some kilos as well. I was, I was, I started at 72 kilos, and I dropped down to 62.2 kilos, which is my lowest since. And now I'm back at 63 point something. So I put I, I put on more than a kilo which is really it can really unmotivate you and want to keep going because food is like a source of um, comfort for me so when i'm going through hard times i would just navigate to food and unhealthy eating and i think it takes a lot for one to admit to that in the healthy eating part definitely counting calories and the intermittent fasting really helped me please go research intermittent fasting before trying it out give it give it a go but that's what worked for me some for people it's a keto diet it's just finding what works for you and sometimes just eating healthy and counting your calories and staying under a certain limit every day and exercising is enough for most people but if you want to f follow a certain diet that for your specific needs then there's so many options out there please do your research and then for exercising i feel like just try to get some sort of exercise in every single day even if you've had a long day at work try to get it in 
for me it works better to do it in the evenings and also try and get a Fitbit to count your steps um like even just walking is an exercise and determination I think try to for me what's helping me at the moment is reading a book which, I, which I'll talk about in the next video but reading has been a new discovery of mine it, it's just really helped my mindset lately and also setting yourself goals set yourself a goal by this date by this x date I want to be at this x whatever Okay, now I'm going to use some of my Stila Magnum mascara and it makes it sound all easy and everything. It really isn't. You're going to face challenges. You're going to have those days where you're just going to slip up, but that's okay. It's just making sure that you don't make, make it like a frequent thing. And you want to find, because it's a whole lifestyle change, you want something realistic that you can follow in the longer run. So then for my lips, I'm just going to go for a Huda Beauty lipstick in third day I don't know why but I just love these lipsticks look at that it's just so pretty so yeah please just remember that these are guidelines that I followed and I keep in my mind I'm no professional and thank you guys for all the sweet comments like that you've been making and you guys have noticed that I've I've have changed in weight recently um, I think when I do look do the before and after pictures which I put here it's crazy to look at because I'm just like wow was I really like that before because I didn't think I was I was uncomfortable but it didn't sink into the fact like wow I actually am overweight and I'm not happy it took a while for me to realize that if you do have any questions comment them below and I'll try to answer them in detail as much as I can whilst I'm on the train to work but yeah, don't feel free to ask anything. I'm here for you as always. And yeah, make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for my Why I Eat In A Day videos. And I will link all workout videos that I like to follow, like my favorite ones. And thank you so much for watching guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.